hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to add a payment method on your jamaican adsense account so you can receive your payments from youtube so without further ado let's get into it All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to do here is go to your browser and go to your AdSense account. I'm in my account here. Then you're gonna go ahead and go down to where it says payments and select it. Hold on, let me just go ahead and refresh. All right, now here's the payment screen. All right, so to the right over here, you should see add payment method where you, we are seeing how you get paid. But because I already added the payment method, that's why you're seeing this right here. However, you would be seeing add a payment method. So I'm just going to go ahead here now and select manage payment methods. Then select add payment method as you can see. All right, so here it's giving you two options, add new wire transfer details, or add new check details as you can see all right so for us we'll go ahead and select add new wire transfer details so just select it and you'll get this drop down right here once you're on this screen it will be asking you for information like beneficiary id which that part is optional but it will need the name on your bank account the bank name swift bic code your account number and intermediary bank all right and for all of this information here depending on which bank you'll use which account you'll use i have ncb pulled up right here so this is information for using ncb's um, wire transfer information so if you're using your ncb account you can use either of these details depending on what the currency is that you'll be getting paid um, in all right so this is usd for us so let's just go ahead here to scotia bank this is the information right here for scotia all right and at the top here this one is for um jmmb right up here all right so this is the jmmb usd wire transfer details and then further down you have gbp sorry gpb euro and canadian all right so this would be the one you use and then this is for cibc all right so you type in this exact um word in right here and then select the link at the top it will automatically download a pdf file and i'll show you what's in the file let me just minimize all right and i already have the file opened right here all right so this is the information for cibc right here so usd and this is the information here that you would use all right and you have um canadian gpb and so on and so forth also all right so now we're going to go back to adsense right here all right select adsense okay so first you'll go ahead and add your name first and last name or whichever name you have on your bank account that will be the name that you put here all right so if you have a mini middle initial in it or so on on your bank account please ensure that you put the middle initial on this all right and now for the bank name where it says beneficiary bank you'll copy this national commercial bank jamaica limited all right right click copy then go back to here and right click and paste as plain text if you don't see paste as plain text you can just select paste now for the swift bic code we're going to go back all right and this one is the one that you'll be using 
ncb swift code slash bic so you'll highlight this right click and copy go back to here right click and paste all right now for your account number so you'll go ahead and add your account number here i'm just going to put in from one to um eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight all right all right and right here now where it says intermediary bank so, so let me just scroll down a bit all right so here where it says intermediary bank name and intermediary bank bic you go back to this part where it says correspondent bank name you copy this one right click copy and paste All right, and for Scotiabank, you would use this bank right here, Bank of America, NA. All right, for JMMB, you would use BNY Mellon. And for CIBC, you would use Wells Fargo, New York. All right. All right, let me just minimize this and go back hold on minimize again all right now we're going back to google adsense all right and this part here for the swift bic code this is the one for the correspondent bank which is the same thing as intermediary bank so you're going to copy that go back to right here right click and then paste as plain text or if you don't see that just select on paste all right, so right here now where it says FFC or FBO, ask your bank if your bank requires further credit check or um, for benefit of, which is FBO, you can add the instructions exactly as your bank specifies, which for this one, you won't need to use it. So you can just use, um, you can just leave this part blank and then continue to finish this. So you can scroll up. And here you can add like YouTube or YT or whichever option you want to add here just for, for like a nickname for the account. Then select set as primary payment method. I'm not going to leave it as set because I already have a primary payment method on my account and this is not my actual account information. Then you're going to go ahead and select save. All right. It's going to load and you'll get this screen right here. Now you'll be seeing this information where it says wire transfer to bank account and the last two digits or three digits, depending on how long your account number is, then that will determine how much numbers you see at the end. So here where you see none, you can select it and choose primary. If you didn't already select the box to make it your primary payment method, you'll also be receiving an automatic email stating that your primary payment method has been changed and it will give you the date and so on if you enjoyed this video guys please remember to like comment subscribe and share and if you want to see more of my content please hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as i post a new video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time